What's up, y'all? This is Ox the Gardener. I'm just gonna do a quick video here. Uh, I've got a lot of lithops have been popping up lately, and uh, people ask me how I go about it. Uh, I'm gonna do a more in-depth video on lithops in the future, but I just want to bust something out real quick. Um, over here, I got some lithops. Uh, I got other pots of lithops going on right now over here. These guys have been having some cold treatment. Uh, recently planted, puffing out, uh, making new roots, bare root lithops from a good man, uh, Hawk E. Young, selling us his lithops from his collection. And uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, go through the pots here. We're going to look at some stuff. So essentially I got, uh, I got pots. I got these little plastic pots. Uh, they're 3.75 inch. They got a very open bottom. I cut a square. This is a six centimeter square. And it fits right here in the bottom of the pot. And then in that pot, uh, I fill it halfway up with this stuff. This is little emerald thumb mesem substrate. Uh, I'm not a shill, but uh, this stuff is awesome. So I'm gonna shill it because I like stuff that works really well. This stuff is fantastic for my lithops and my conophytum. So that's why I use it. So I take one of those pots. Yes, fancy pot. Dunga, dunga, dunga. We fill it halfway up. Dunga, dunga, dunga. Eh, maybe two thirds of the way up. Then I put a little bit of bone meal in it, a little bit of dolomite lime, a few granules of Osmo coat, and then I fill it to the top with a little emerald thumb, mess up some straight. And then I got my pots prepared. So take a look down here at what I got going on. I got some pots right here, ready to go, ready to push some stuff in. Okay, so let's do a cut here real quick and uh, go to the pots. All right, so here we are, and we are looking at the top of these pots. Now, this thing about these uh, pots full of substrate here, uh, I have moistened them. I've watered them. I've watered them uh, actually pretty good. I let the water come out the bottom a little bit. I didn't just sit there and douse them, but uh, they're, they're definitely uh, soaked through, and that's how I want it to start these guys off. And so... What we're going to do is we're going to get these guys ready for potting. We're going to put them in the pots. So we got to get these guys ready. So we got these roots hanging out here. All right. So this is what I'm doing. I'm actually going to cut these side roots off. And I'm going to cut this end off. And I'm going to cut this end off a little bit here. So what I'm looking for is a little bit of a white dot in the end of this tap root. Okay, I see it there, and I actually squeezed some out, so let's just trim that one more. So, I see a little bit of the white dot there in that taproot. That's going to be kind of hard to see on the camera, but it is there, I swear. And so, that's what we're doing. Now, look how short that root is. That's pretty short. That's okay. See all this extra fuzz and fluff right here? This is all just going to be dead stuff because they've been in a box for a little bit traveling from New York to Southern California. And so I'm just gonna kinda separate this stuff off, just trim off this extra stuff. And then again, I'm looking for the end of a tap root. And I want to get a nice little white dot on the end of that tap root. Now I see a little white dot on the end of that tap root. All good. Next one, chunga, chunga, chunga. So we're gonna trim this stuff off and uh, we're going to cut this stem down right here. And then we're looking for some whiteness in the end of this root. Now I see a little bit there. Still looks a little gnarly. We're going to pull some of this extra fuzz and stuff off the sides. Maybe take that down a little bit more. So we got a nice, uh, that's a big thick white area right there. That's a good tap root. We're going to set that to the side. And so that's it. That's how we prep our laptop, or our laptop. Uh, yeah, I'm an IT guy, and uh, it's been a busy week. Anyway, uh, that's how we prep our lithops. Lithops, lithops, never lithop. Uh, little tiny plants from South Africa. Um, that's how we prep them. And so let's just go through here real quick. We're gonna trim off the end of these. I see a little white in there. Prep some bellicatties. Prep some bellicatties. White dot, white dot. What do we got in here? This is kind of a clumpy clump. We're gonna aim for these little thick sections here. Now we don't want to destroy this root. We just want to open up that little growing area. 
and uh, I'm not so sure about that one. Getting low, getting low, getting low on root. Oh, there's a little white dot right there. A little white dot. We're looking for those little little core tissue in there that is going to grow out those new roots. So there's some three belly cavities. Now look at this massive tree of a lithop here. Lithops. Oh, I caught myself saying the wrong thing. It's been a long week. I got lots of excuses. I'll line them up for you if you want them. So boom, boom, boom. Four white dots. Look at that. Okay. Quit talking, Ox. Just do the thing. Look, white, white, white in there. Some white in here. Some white in there. We'll take it. Now these little, yeah, we got a little old crusty leaf in here. We're gonna peel off that old crusty leaf. Nice and gentle like. Nice and gentle like. Because if you get too aggressive with it and that crusty leaf there by the root, you go pulling that off and you're gonna yank off some root possibly. And you do not do that. A little white dot right in there. We'll take that one. What are these? Oh, these are my Dorothees. Very nice. There we go. Oh, maybe a little more. Yeah, that's all right. We like that. And we got one more in the pile here. Dunga, 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 dunga. Chop. And so I may have just sped all that up. Maybe not. We'll see how it is. When I... Look at the video. Look at the video. But I just want to make it down and dirty. Get it out there for people who wanted to see it. All right, so now we're going to plant some bellicettes. Chunga, chunga, chunga. So I like to do three lithopods in a little tri pattern. And that's my daughter, so we're going to stop this video, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye. Okay, and we're back. Uh, we're going to plant these belly caddies right here. Keep it moving, keep it moving. And we're going to do a little a little tripod kind of a pattern is what I like to do. So these are pretty fat. They got a little root stump. We're going to kind of open this up a little fat. Open this up a little fat. Open this up a little fat right here. Chunga, chunga, chunga. Dung it. Make sure we got a little room for our root stumps. And then, have a seat. Have a seat right there. You see, when you wet this stuff down before you plant it, it stays nice and open for you. You don't have to fight it. You don't have to have any rubber bands. You don't have to have toothpicks. Just put the substrate in the pot. Uh, I believe my daughter is upset about something again. Let's go find out what that is. I will be right back. All right, and we're back once again. Okay, let's get this done. Let's get this done. I just want to make a quick video. Just a quick one. And it takes forever sometimes to do things when you are the father of beautiful babies like I am. And those of you who are mothers and fathers of beautiful babies, I'm sure you understand. My daughter just turned three. My son is four and a half. And boy, oh boy, they are a handful. I love them so much, but they are a handful. All right, so, jeez, Hawk, what have you sent me, brother? What are these friggin' sequoias? What the hell, Hawk? Oh my God, I got sequoias in my lithops collection. Good grief. I'm gonna have too much substrate in this pot afterwards because all these things are so friggin' huge and healthy. I'm gonna make a big old hole in here for this sequoia number two. All right, we'll throw some in the middle here. We'll just knock it out the side, knock it out the side. You can clean up the counter, no big deal. Oh man, those monsters. Good grief, and I still have a bunch of these. I bought like six of those for some silly reason. My goodness. Okay, so there's those guys. Chunga Chunga, Bellicettes, Fulviceps. Maybe these guys want to go a little lower. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. I'm getting concepts out here. We're just planting some plants. This is a quick video. Oh my God, I want to tell you guys all about coal numbers and different regions of South Africa and different cultivars of lithops and hybrids of lithops people have created and people like Steve Hammer and Desmond Cole and all these guys who did all this great research and 
found all these plants and described all these plants, even back to El Bolas and, you know, some of the other Mesem people who went through South Africa and did some of the biological botany, uh, you know, recording work and documented this stuff. This is a fascinating world and a deep rabbit hole that I found. And boy, I do love these things. I love studying about them. I love learning about them. Um, I love talking about them. And I love growing them. So these holes might be a little little deep, but we can push it all together. Now, that's a beautiful lithops. My God. I don't even remember what they were. But I only buy lithops in sets of three or two or three. I like to have sets of three. I'm trying to make my own seeds, grow out my own plants, and maybe start uh, selling this stuff here in a few years. But uh, for right now, it's kind of a build-up. A building stage, a team building stage. You know what? I'm going to move this guy. Right now, if you want to move him, now's the time. Do it while you're doing this. Get him settled because you don't want to be poking him out of the ground or pulling him out. You want to look at the roots. I mean, if the plant has some resistance to the substrate, it's rooted. Okay. Uh, and so that's how I pot these guys up. That's trimming. That's potting. That's substrate. And now what I'm going to do, I don't like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to OCD over this little positioning over here in this pot. We're going to change this one too. Because like I said, go ahead and lock it in now. You don't want to be pulling these things out and wiggling them around. Although in this grit, it is pretty easy to kind of just dump half the pot a grit out and kind of slide things around this, this uh, grit substrate. Man, I love this stuff. Uh, little Emerald Thumb SM Substrate is the best. It's not the cheapest out there, and I do admit that I have a number of these that are 50% uh, 50%, 90% uh, pumice, 10% soil, sifted to quarter inch. A lot of those, the bottom half is that, and the top half is the Mesem substrate. Uh, substrate. Pardon all the mess-ups and the errors and the mumblings. This is a quick one. I'm going to put it all together. Hopefully it isn't too long. I'm going to check it out. And uh, so, yeah, that's it. Four pots of lithops set up right in front of you. Uh, these guys might be out of the pot a little too much, but, uh, you know, we, we'll work with it. I may have to put those in their individual pots, but uh, we'll, I'll figure that out. So what I'm going to do with these now, trimmed up, moistened substrate, some moisture in here. Because it's friggin' 91 or 89 or something still outside right now, and will continue to be that hot at night for a while. I'm going to stick these in the fridge for the first week so they can root out well. Lithops, they want to start their metabolism process at 68 Fahrenheit 20 C. That's when they start. That's when it just barely gets going. The colder it gets, that, that process starts ramping up. The warmer it gets, the, the, the process slows down. Cam photosynthesis. Look it up. It's fantastic stuff. Um, so I'm going to stick these in the fridge. I will water these pots again in three days when this substrate is kind of dried out. I will do this fridge treatment for a week. After the week, these should be nice and puffing back up. They should have some roots. They should be locked in here. Uh, just like these little guys, these guys have been in there for a week. They could be a little locked in a little more, but you know what? They've got roots and they're moving the substrate around. So I'm going to put them outdoors with the rest of the collection. Because if I loaded my friggin' fridge up with lithops at night, my wife would be like, Honey, seriously? First you spill rocks all over the damn place all the time. And now you're putting the butt plants in the fridge. Now actually, she, she digs these. She thinks they're kind of cool. But, I mean, do people really stick plants in the fridge all the time? Not all the time, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it here because that's what we do. Locks the gardener. Bye-bye. Love you all.